Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Sometimes we can figure out things from a mile away. And uh, when that happens, we're like, oh, yeah, we knew that would happen. In this case, we have Israel, who um, is itching to send weapons to uh, their kosher brothers. And uh, I knew they would eventually do that. Uh, they have the United States, um, you know, telling them what to do anyway from time to time. As well as they have the Zelensky, Reznikov, uh, Yermak and Zmihal over there in a need. So the other Zelenskys from uh, Middle East will give them whatever they need. So I knew that they will, uh, they, the Israelis, will uh, try to find a reason to provide uh, Ukraine with some help. Now, this article comes from uh, Al Mayadin, which is a, an Arab um, news, independent news media outlet. And this is the title. Israel gives Russia ultimatum over Iranian arms supplies, report says. says. Now, this uh, media outlet refers to Israel, uh, Israel occupation or the occupation, or Israel is in quotation marks. So I'm assuming that they are not very um, uh, friendly towards uh, the Jewish state. So I'm just going to read. I'm the messenger here, okay? Then we're going to get what is meaningful out of this, regardless of uh, the little flowers around the uh, article that we should ignore. The Israeli occupation threatens Russia with supplying, supplying arms to Ukraine if Moscow keeps on, and I'm quoting, taking drones from Iran. We expected that. We just, well, we were waiting for a reason, you know, for a little justification. So, the Israeli occupation may start pumping high precision ballistic missiles into Ukraine if Russia does not put an end to its quote-unquote cooperation with Iran. Israeli media said on Monday following discussions between Israel's ambassador to Russia, Alexander Ben Zvi, and the Russian deputy foreign minister Mikhail Bogdanov. Ben Zvi informed the Russian diplomat of the occupation's ultimatum in light of Moscow facing accusations for months that it has been getting its supply of drones from Iran. Our, uh, Israeli Khan, K-A-N, public broadcaster reported. A source in the Israeli Foreign Ministry said uh, the head of the Israeli National Security Council, Eyal Hulata, warned Russia against the usage of Iranian drones, threatening Moscow with sending ballistic missiles to Kiev, which would be used against Russian positions or units. Russia, according to the Ukrainian army, uh, armed forces, has purchased the Iranian Arash-2 drones, a more powerful model than the Shahed-136 drones being seen in Kiev skies. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba said during an online briefing a couple of weeks ago that he submitted a proposal to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to formally break off diplomatic ties with Tehran. During the briefing, Kuleba accused Iran of having supplied weapons to Russia despite having no evidence to support his claim. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky went as far as claiming that Russia was deploying almost 2,500 attack, dro attack drones purchased from Iran. Ukraine's accusations spiraled into the West adopting these claims and now the United States is using the allegation as a card against Iran. However, Iranian Foreign Minister Hussein Amir Abdullahian said, admitted that Tehran gave a small batch of drones to Russia, but it was before the Ukraine war broke out. Tehran's latest, latest statements once again struck down the allegations of false, providing that the um, uh, that the allegation as false, providing that the Ira Iranian drones seen in the Ukraine's airspace was not provided to Moscow as the war was ongoing. We supplied Russia with a limited number of drones month before the war in Ukraine. The official Iranian blah 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 blah. What do you think? <laughs> now, um, <clears throat> and there was a uh, uh, also a 
Iran and Ukraine were supposed to sit down and discuss the issue, but Kiev bailed out on the talks at the last second. They say the Americans told them don't do it, but I don't know yet. Now, I have another article where, uh, again, the Iranians are trying to uh, secure a meeting with um, uh, the Ukrainians regarding the drones and say, okay, provide us with information, provide us with this, let's, let's discuss it in an official um, setting and uh, the Ukrainians did not uh, respond yet. Uh, I do not really think that Israel uh, uh, gave the Russians an ultimatum. I don't think they speak that way. Uh, they are smarter than that. Um, but I think they uh, just gave a few hints where in their language is kind of like this is what we're going to do and uh, we don't like it and the next they're going to act. I don't think the Israelis did not provide anything yet to the Ukrainians. I would be very, very surprised if that would be the case. Nevertheless, I do not uh, really see the the connection here between um, uh, what is uh, uh, Israel have to do with uh, a fight between two countries. So if you don't have anything with those countries, why do you even pay attention? All right. So why do you pay attention to what kind of weapons they use? Is that is that your matter? Is that your problem? There are some neighbors across the neighborhood on the other side of the neighborhood fighting. Why do you care? Why do you need to care? Uh, yeah, you say, well, you have Iran. Well, Iran is like a, another manufacturer that those guys that you have nothing to do, they use on one another. What is what's up with you? You can say, well, then, uh, but if those guys get involved and all that, that's their problem. Why is it your problem all of a sudden? It's because Iran, but Iran has a problem over there. They don't have a problem here. I understand if you would be involved with someone in a fight and Iran would provide them with weapons where you fight. I understand that. But it's, nothing to, it's the, same, the same reason why the Germans and the Europeans, uh, you know, they claim that they had to get involved in the Ukrainian war because otherwise the Russian boots will kick the door in in the morning to uh, demand that uh, their wives come uh, with them and they are sent to the gulag. Well, you know, I can make a lot of scenarios like this and uh, act like an idiot, like these guys act. So they introduced themselves, they inserted themselves in, the, in other people's business. They won it because some people planned it. Some people were just oh my god we gotta go in because he orders us. But again Israel has nothing to do with everything with anything. Now if let's say Israel would provide okay I don't I don't have anything to do with those guys. I choose to give these guys weapons. Well you're already implicated in that war. You wanna be implicated? Why were you? Why would you be? Now if Iran uh, supplies weapons to, to Russia again would you be implicated? Obviously you may say yes. Okay, then you get the, the Western side, the monolithic West or the however you want to call them. You know, they uh, the same. They provided uh, weapons from the from the very beginning. So are they involved? They are. Again, the scuffle was between the two of them. Now you can say, well, uh, you know, we had to intervene. We had to do this. We have to do that. Nah, come on. We're not, we can't be this naive to think that it was just... They just decided to intervene because they're good people and because we have values. And if we have values, we wouldn't, wouldn't have bombed uh, other countries. You know what I mean? So uh, it's not about that. that. That BS works in the kindergarten or something, but not here. Uh, no, it's not about that. It's about interest and they had to, uh, to do it. So I don't know. I don't think they gave an ultimatum, but probably they said, well, you know what? We're going to get involved if you cooperate with Iran, even though uh, nobody prevents the uh, Jewish state to cooperate with Russia. So, uh, you know what I mean? Anyway, we'll find out. Uh, I don't think they will. Uh, I don't think that Israel will provide uh, Ukraine with ballistic missiles. If they give them some drones or this and that, yeah, but no, no, no ballistic missiles. That's my uh, take on that. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.